All right, Tuber, Jeff. Lynn's in the garage with you. It is Sunday, May the 6th. Hadn't looked at the date in a few days. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Uh, we have not done much at all this weekend. Didn't do anything yesterday. And uh, we wanted to bring you along for a little special project that we did today. And it really didn't have anything much to do with the car. But the progress on the car has come to a halt. Uh, we've got everything done on the underneath side of the car that we needed to do, except figure out how we're going to do a headliner. I want to work on that before I take it back off the rotisserie. Hopefully when we get it off the rotisserie, uh, that'll be the last time we need it. And hopefully we can make some headway on some other stuff get, you know, for getting the car put together. I've got some ABS black plastic uh, Teflon material or whatever it is ordered. I'm going to try to do something a little more modern as far as a headliner. I didn't want to try the, the bow style deal, even though I've got a headliner for it that I probably could have dyed black and been fine. Uh, I'm missing a few of the bows. And I really like the look of the more modern. And, and like I say, this car is going to be totally uh, modified. It's, you know, nothing's going to be original on it. And it's really not worth making it original. So that's why we're just doing a resto mod or whatever they call it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff different. You know, custom console, custom headliner, different things. So that's kind of where we're at. We're waiting on some material. We've got some stuff ordered. Uh, we're going to have a long weekend next weekend and other maybe one day or so we'll do we'll do that thing and and uh, we'll be able to do some work on the car. Anyway, just talking away, what we really wanted to bring you along and show you is what we've been up to today. Uh, I really don't understand uh, my fascination with a roll around tool cart type thing with a top, but I went to Harbor Freight this past this week and bought a toolbox. It's one of the bigger U.S. General boxes or whatever they call them. U.S. General. I think that's what it is. Anyway, it was about a $500 box. Surprise, surprisingly, it's a, it's a pretty good, pretty heavy-duty box. Uh, it's something that I needed at work. <clears throat> We've got a couple of Kennedy boxes with machine tool stuff. Um, in them but I needed something because the area that I'm in now they they really hadn't had uh, somebody with an industrial maintenance background and uh, me and another guy went in halves on it and we're filling it up and it's gonna be a good box to have it's gonna be something that uh, uh, way later on down the road we'll we'll come to some kind of terms on uh, splitting that up I really don't need it I, I'm gonna probably end up uh, just letting the other guy buy me out or whatever uh, because he is a, a, a good bit younger than me and he's going to work a lot longer than me. I'm getting ready to retire hopefully in a few short years. But anyway, just all kind of just gab gabbing. We had this little table over there under the air conditioner and it was just a catch-all. Uh, and I really wish I'd have kind of went along and documented. I really didn't plan on doing a video but the dang thing turned out good so I said well maybe somebody else you know would like to do something similar and if so I'd be glad to you know explain exactly what I did with measurements and things but anyway just took the deal I put four swivel rigs on it so it'll roll around and around in circles any kind of way you want to spin it it'll go uh, we built a lip around it we cut us a piece of uh, seven millimeter thick uh, this is actually a underlayment for flooring something we did years ago and we had a little bit of that left over uh, we framed up one drawer for the time being we can go back and add but i don't want to get too much stuff any lower because i don't like to bend over and get stuff off the floor that's you know the whole deal about getting this is having a little small work surface and having the go-to tools and stuff at your you know disposal pretty handy 
you can kind of just take this thing along with you. I do have one more little deal to build uh, something to hold these uh, gear wrenches. Um, we've got combination wrenches galore in these other boxes. These are the main ones, three quarter down to five sixteenths. Uh, ratchet wrenches or gear wrenches, if you will. Uh, a set of impact sockets, a set of three eighths drive, uh, a butterfly ratchet, a, a standard air ratchet. And we, we ended up adding a little piece back here that would accept these little deals here. And I, I really like that, that's gonna be handy. So I don't have to hunt up all this stuff. Uh, cutting disc, uh, polishing, grinding disc, stuff like that. Some uh, air saw blades and so on. Uh, one drawer and uh, right now we just don't have much in there. We've got extra stuff, some new stuff, a tap and die set, but uh, really not a lot in the drawer to speak of. Uh, it's not fancy. It's heavy duty, four by four post for the uprights, three quarter inch plywood bottom, three quarter inch plywood top. And then uh, we framed it out and put a little back splash deal, if you will, uh, to keep from knocking stuff off the back side of it. And like I say, a, a little rubber mat inlay deal there. There's a lot more that I wanna do to this cart. I'm just running out of time today uh obviously extension cords and stuff whole saw bits we're gonna make a deal to hold all that stuff on this left side uh we went ahead and drilled and put a half inch rod through on this side for all of our uh clamps not all of them but enough of them that we don't need to hunt anything up we know where it's at um and that's pretty much it for the little homemade roll around tool cart with works with workspace there. Uh, <clears throat> don't know exactly how much more we'll do to it, but I'm digging on it. That's what I did today. <laughs> Just took a break from the car, which like I said, we're waiting on some stuff to come in. Uh, and we did this, and we did not have a pool, so we took an old, old wrench, sandblasted it, painted it, welded some bolts to it. That's our pool handle, and that's not uh, original. I have seen that done before, and uh, I borrowed it from somebody. Don't know who, I'm sure thousands of people have done that. So uh, I did not need to buy one when I knew that I could probably make something that would get me by and just see you know, if this is really what I wanna to try to use while I'm working on the car or working on other stuff. Uh, they have these things at Harbor Freight. I looked at them the other day when we bought the toolbox. They're like 169 and I'm telling you, this thing that I made is, is jam up just right, just as good. Uh, even though it's made out of wood, it looks fine. And I'm digging it. All right, YouTube. Pretty much a wasted weekend and, and just a lot of gabbing. I do have some pictures of this thing as I was building it. I'll shoot them onto the video, uh, but really not a lot. Um, subscribers, uh, just keep finding the channel. And I know I say that every time and it, it, it's really surprising to me. I think it's over 440 now and climbing. Every week we get a few and I'm grateful for that. I appreciate that. Uh, to all the new subs and uh, again We definitely gonna get back on the car next weekend. We've got a lot of stuff. We want to try to get done But this weekend it was just one of them deals where we're waiting on parts waiting on stuff that we need and uh, I probably could have found some little something to do but uh, I've, I've kind of got an order that I'm going in and we'll just do it that way not in any big hurry so uh, that's about 10 minutes worth of just gabbing about much or nothing. But we, we did want to put up a video this weekend. We hadn't been doing much here lately. So uh, we'll get back to the car next weekend. And we'll do some video in then. All right, Tubers.